an army of fire trucks and firefighters. And a sea of water as the Shores Jewelry Building burned from the dinner hour into the early hours of this morning. A tough loss for owner Harold Shores. I grew up on the streets of Broadway. I, you know, I cut my teeth on these sidewalks. Today, bricks are being pulled off the front facade. Helping with the demolition, Harold Shores himself, right up top in the bucket. I used to work for the demo guy, so I, you know, I can swing a hammer with the best of them. We put a new front on 10 years ago. They're afraid of it falling in or out, so that's why it's got to come down. Harold's will work out a settlement with the insurance company, but he tells me even though this building is a total loss, he hopes to reopen and rebuild right here on Broadway. I'll be right back there as long as the insurance company comes through and does what they tell me they're going to do. Six months, eight months, ten months, we'll have a new building. Like many smaller communities, the businesses of Mattoon chipped in last night as firefighters stayed on the job. Angelo's brought up food, uh, Villa Pizza brought up food, uh, Pilsen's Auto um, donated 25 pizzas. A car dealer even offered to give Harold a temporary location. Keith Summers told me that uh, I can have one of his showrooms start back up. For Harold Shores, a bad night. The promises of a new beginning in that tune. It's just so much to comprehend. Doug Wolf, WAND News.